We are at 3299 Ronald Reagan Street. This house is located in the Crocker Village neighborhood. And we're standing out in front of the house here. Just a look down the street in each direction. That shopping center you see off in the distance there is where that brand new Safeway is. Pretty much everything in there is brand new. And there's also a brand new nice gym that's being built that should be finished soon. And then looking down this way, other direction, all the homes we see here are very new. This whole neighborhood is brand new. And heading in the front door here, this house has this uh, little private patio area that's fenced off with a gate. And then standing back and looking out from the front door here. So you enter into the living room with the open kitchen that has bar seating there. This house comes with the appliances, refrigerator, washer, dryer, gas stove, nice big single well sink, dishwasher, and then looking back on the living room that you see in the kitchen, Downstairs, there is a full bedroom. Pretty average bedroom size. It's probably about 11 by 11. And the window of this bedroom looks out onto the side yard. Across the hall from this bathroom is, or from this bedroom, is a full bathroom. The big stall shower, low curb. All right, heading upstairs where we have two bedrooms and the primary bedroom. This house has these laminate floors throughout on the stairs and everywhere. There's no carpet in here. Top of the stairs in, empty, uh, enters into this big loft area, second living area. And the primary bedroom has no connecting walls with the other two bedrooms. And this is a good size room. Windows look out to the front of the house on Ronald Reagan Street we were just on. Bathroom here, dual vanities, two sinks. Nice big stall shower with a bench. Big walk-in closet. And then pantry space there, linen closet, I guess I should say, and the separate toilet room. Here is a laundry room that's its own room, so you can close the door to this. Pretty functional cabinetry with a hook and closet rail, closet rod. And there's enough room in this laundry room for another piece of furniture 
if you wanted to put some sort of folding table or something in there. And then looking back on the loft area from the other direction. And then we'll head into one of the two bedrooms here. These bedrooms are a Jack and Jill set up for the bathroom. This is a bigger room than downstairs. And this has a pretty good size walk-in closet with its own window. This is the connecting bathroom. Once again, dual vanities here. And a separate toilet and shower room that you can close the door on so somebody could use the shower and toilet while somebody's at the sink. And then into the other bedroom. This bedroom is about the same size as the downstairs bedroom. It's still a good sized closet. It's not as walk-in as the other one, but plenty of raw, uh, closet rod space. And then this door goes back out into the loft area. Take you back downstairs and we'll take a look at the garage. This house is alarmed. It's not something that we service, but if you decided to get it up and running, Coat closet here. And then this is the way that I, you'd probably go in and out of the house most of the time. Two car garage. I guess this would be a two plus car garage. So there's a spot off to the side where you could store bikes. Trash cans are in here right now. But those I imagine you would store on the side yard so they're not in the garage. But bicycle storage, another little nook that is an obvious spot for putting some shelves or something. And this house come has tankless water heater, which is nice. You never run out of hot water. And then this is the side yard that I imagine you would put trash cans. It has a gate there. This is a shared side yard. walk back out to the front here. Which is where we were at the beginning. All right, this is 3299 Ronald Reagan Street.